Here's another video from Patreon supporter Jeff Boutine. Um, Jeff, thank you so much for supporting the show. And this is, of course, folks, what you get at the one of the $5 levels. You get to submit an article. Um, and uh, I'll send out the emails uh, for all of you who might be new to that tier. And you can respond and tell me what um, articles you want to send or topics you want me to cover. And also at the 20, there's a couple of new people at the $25 tier. And those we set up Skype interviews, so please respond to my emails uh, if you want to do that, um, and check your, uh, you know, your your spam folder because sometimes I, I have to send it through the Patreon email service. So, uh, so at the twenty five dollar level, we can set up a Skype interview, and that will be one of the videos that I post here at the Political Vigilante. So Jeff uh, submitted this great <laughs> this great article of. The governor of West Virginia, who has been a Democrat and was elected in 2015, the Democratic Party put a lot of money behind this guy. Um, so the governor, Jim Justice, um, announced uh, on Thursday evening that he was switching to the GOP. And this, um, he did it in a special surprise appearance with Donald Trump in uh, Huntington, West Virginia. Trump has put a lot of effort into West Virginia. He campaigned there heavily. He said, I'm going to bring back all the coal jobs. West Virginia is a state that has 53% employment. So that means almost half of the people are not working. It has, I think, one of the lowest household incomes. And um, it is a place that is... So um, it's going through tough times. This is a place that, you know, the Democratic Party way long time ago when it was the Working People's Party should have carried. It's why, but um, the has it has one of the country's low, lowest median household incomes at forty two thousand eight hundred twenty four. The national average is fifty six thousand five sixteen, and um, it's. It shows again how weak the Democrats are. So Trump took something like 63% of this state when he beat Hillary here. It was, it was in the 60 some percentile. Um, and uh, Trump came in and said, I support coal, I support coal. If coal is, is, is on the way out, it's, we, we gotta get rid of coal, we gotta get rid of fracking, we gotta get rid of fossil fuels, we have to get rid of it. But the Democrats, because they're just corporate and they just take big business and, and tech dollars, you know, their only answer to people in West Virginia are like, oh, just get a college degree. Oh, really? When there's mass unemployment and there's hard to get work, where are they going to get, where are they going to go to college? College to, uh, costs have risen something like three or four hundred percent in the last 25, 30 years. So what is the Democratic, the Democratic Party should be coming in there and say Green New Deal. We're gonna build a solar uh, panel manufacturing plant. We're gonna build it right next to the coal mine, right? And as soon as that plant comes online, everybody who had a coal mine job gets a job here. Like it could be that simple. I'm not, it's not that crazy. And you would get all the lawmakers to say yes and say, look, every coal miner, we're gonna shut down this coal mine. You have a job waiting for you right here, right now. A real progressive party could do that, but what is the Democratic Party? Let's let's see what this shows you who the Democratic Party is and why this happened. Right, a top West Virginia Democratic operative said, "Obviously, we're pissed. I mean, let's face it. We put a lot of effort into the 2015 election to elect this man as governor, and we had two more progressive individuals in that primary. But we knew that if Jim Justice went." out of that primary, he could win. There you go. Once again, back in 2015, they had progressives in the primary who, I don't know. I doubt a progressive is gonna jump ship to the Republican party. And they bailed, they backed the corporate, they backed the right wing Democrat, right? They, that's who they backed. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's the guy who he backed, right? Here's Jim Justice. 
He's friends with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, donated to McConnell's super PAC in 2014. Boy, that sounds like a real progressive. Any progressive that's giving money to Mitch McConnell's super PAC, boy, that must be a guy for the people. Fucking idiots. He donated the Republican Governors Association just years before the RGA spent millions of dollars trying to defeat him in 2016. The Republican Party attacked him for failing to pay taxes and fines related to his business. This is the state that has Senator Joe Manchin, who is a, another, you know, Trump, <laughs> Trump supporting Democrat. Um, it's unbelievable. This is how the Democratic Party, time and time again, look what we've seen them do, right? So they're starting to recruit, uh, I did a video, they're starting to recruit pro-life people for the de Democratic candidates because they're, they're so dumb, they won't go left, they won't go progressive, they won't embrace, you know, socialism. Oh, they run from it and they're playing, it, this it plays into Trump's hands. This plays into the Republican Party's hands. So if Trump gets impeached, eh, you know, <laughs> they got that VP Mike Pence all ready to go with a nice clean cut, good young hygienic Christian look and he'll come in and the Democrats will keep backing corporatists and Republican funding <laughs> flip-floppers like this guy, Jim Justice, and this is what they'll do. They've lost four, I've done stories on the, the four um, seats that they could have won. They lost four of them, and they either lost because they backed um, some corporate Democrat like John Osef in Georgia, or they wouldn't give money to actual progressives that had a chance at unseating Republicans. Republicans have won all four of those runoff, you know, special elections since, you know, when people were vacated because they got put in Trump's cabinet or whatever. So this is amazing. So Jeff Boutin, thank you for this, this shows on a local level. I love when you guys send me these articles on a little story that's happening in your area or whatever, because what does it do? It shows how the Democrats are losing on a local level. They can't get behind progressives. They'd rather get behind a guy that give money to Mitch fucking McConnell and then, oh, shocker, he bails. You know, he went on a hunting trip with, with Trump Jr. Oh, well, that's good. So what is the Democratic Party going to be like? Boy, we got to send, we got to get more hunting, uh, pro-life, uh, pro-gun Democrats. Well, you're the Republican Party then. And the Republicans are just nuts. They're just out to lunch. They're crazy. <laughs> DNC, you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea what you're doing. Back progressives have a progressive platform or keep doing this bullshit and we're just going to draft Bernie and start a real, real independent, real progressive party. Something like that. Either draft Bernie or somebody else. I keep saying this time and time again. Every day, more evidence of how stupid the Democratic Party is. Jeff, thank you so much for sending this article in. Thank you so much for shedding light on this region. And another loss. Another loss, uh, the Democrats have less than, I think, 15 uh, governor, um, 15 governorships the Democrats control. 35 <laughs> governors are not Democrats. So when your neoliberal friends are big Democrats saying, oh, the Democratic Party, we got to donate, resist, resist, tell them no. They've lost the House, the Senate, the White House, uh, 900 state Senate seats and, you know, they only have 15 governorships left. Now, with this guy, jumping ship. It's a joke. Don't back the Democratic Party. Thanks for backing this show, though. The Patreon link is below and you get to submit cool articles like this and have your name mentioned. Thank you, Jeff Boutine, and thank you for making Gotham great.